Massive stone towers pierce an empty sky. This enormous structure is called the cage. In its shadow, a lone girl walks with purpose. And she will not leave until she has what she desires.
You've lost more than just your voice. But I'm sure you already know that, don't you? You've lost so much, but the time has come to reclaim it. Life will be much harder if you can't speak, after all. These stairs are the entrance to your prison. A place known as the Cage. It's a truly massive structure. Where you woke up, and this sandy area here, are just small parts of it. This place is called... The Cage? And now, the moment you've been waiting for... Dream Time! How annoying. We all live under someone else's command. Our bodies and emotions are not free. One often lacks the will to choose from the remaining options. These feelings, they're all real. But my reality wasn't. I just wanted... happiness. Normal happiness. meaning of the word never existed to begin with we don't have time to deal with gods right now i am a different man now it's something i want to do i won't stop until i've destroyed them all sear this into your mind i can destroy the flowers with this what is your anger meant for i'll kill them all <laughs> yes. 
Let's go. We have a final fragment to reclaim. of sand. I wonder how such a thing came to pass. Make sure you don't get any grit in your eyes. I wonder where all of this sand is going. for the shiny black light up there. These strange statues are scattered throughout the cage. I don't know who made them, but I call them dark scarecrows. Anyway, this is the first one, so we'll start here. across a vast wasteland. A taciturn man follows. The boy proceeds uneasily, his eyes constantly probing their surroundings, almost as if he fears they are being followed. Suddenly, a dreary town emerges from the dust. The boy suggests they take their rest, and the man nods silently. The two make for a nearby eatery, hoping to shake the road from their weary bones. But instead of welcome, they find a group of bounty hunters gathered at their destination. The lead hunter stares at the child, appraising him. You royalty, boy? His voice is rad. The boy remains silent, his head hanging low. Perhaps angered by the lack of response, the bounty hunter suddenly draws his gun. Did you see the flock of black birds that possessed the bounty? They're nasty sorts who like to fly in and warp the story. Well, we are not going to let that stand, are we? Your role is to defeat them and put the story back the way it's supposed to be. But I suppose you already know that, don't you? Perhaps angered by the lack of response, the bounty hunter suddenly draws his gun.
I shall take care of them. This is for all of our saints. Having defeated the hunters, the man turns to his charge. Are you hurt, my prince? I am well, replies the boy. But remember, I am no longer a prince. With a wry smile and a touch of regret, he proposes they take their leave of the town. The man silently nods and gazes upon the boy's face. Your task is to fix warped memories like this in order to restore complete stories. But we also need to collect weapons like these. Do you have a rough sense of what you're supposed to do now, child? Wonderful! Then let's keep this up. Also, Mama's here to help, so don't worry too much about it, all right? Opening the menu already, are we? Mama was planning to give you an explanation later. Are you sure you want to fiddle with it now? That's right. No need to worry your pretty head about any of that right now. My, what a beautiful place. I can't fathom how anyone managed to construct something so large. You will sometimes encounter black birds in the cage, and you should do what you can to shoo them all out. If you do that, Mama will give you a nice surprise. Do you want to hear the explanation after all? That's right. No need to worry your pretty head about any of that right now.
well. Here's the second one. Are you ready? Wherever people gather, stories come with them. But saloons have a special ability to loosen even the tightest of lips. Such rumors are what brings the woman with the mechanical arm and leg to this place. For she is a bounty hunter in search of her prey. she obtains from the patron seems vague, but it is more than enough. Gathering herself, she exits the saloon in pursuit of her target. I'll cut down everything in my way. It is over in a moment. The woman's sigh is carried off by the wind. No mediocre highwayman could hope to stand against her desire for revenge. The woman heads for the forest in pursuit of her target. We collect stories in order to regain what you have lost. But we also do it to make your wish come true. So let's keep it up. Slow and steady wins this race. I should tell you a little bit about the cage. It's a truly massive structure. Where you woke up, and this sandy area here, are just small parts of it. To be honest, a great deal of the cage is a mystery. I'm not even certain who gave it that name.
a forest near a ruined church, a man surveys his surroundings. It would appear he is searching for food. The expression on his bandaged face is clouded. The grasses rustle ominously as they part. It seems the man is not the only one to search for food. The animals in this place are lean, starving, desperate. And they will do what they must to survive. Enemy forces sighted. Having secured his prize, the man returns to the church. The sound of his worn boot heels echoes throughout the dilapidated chapel. A boy lies at the back his face drawn and haggard. The man kneels down and offers some of the food he collected. But the boy is too weak to hold it. His body will not allow him to accept even this meager meal. The boy tries to brush it off with a feeble smile. But the man just stares down at him in silence. To think that poor sick child had to travel the wastes in his condition. Still, we've restored the third memory now. If we can collect the next one, it will mark the end of the staff's tale. Goodness, this place is nothing but stairs. I hope your little legs are okay. Still, I suppose it does allow us to see some rather lovely views. Be sure to rest whenever you start to feel tired, child. Someone once said resting is the shortcut to success after all. It's so bright here. 
Ah, oh, there's the fourth one. We should be able to enter the final memory here. People who arm themselves tend to find their way into a fight. I fear you will have to face a good deal of death from now on. Are you ready? The woman who set out from town finally arrives at a wild wood. Soon, she comes across the ruins of a once proud church. The ceiling has collapsed, the walls mere suggestions. But in the very back of the church, she finds a deteriorated clockwork soldier, as well as the corpse of a boy. As the woman approaches, the clockwork soldier suddenly rises. He levels his weapon at her and lets fly with a fearsome power. I'll cut down everything in my way. Here we go. The woman accesses the logs of the fallen soldier. The boy was a prince, driven from his kingdom. The clockwork soldier traveling with him was his guardian and his friend. The boy's disease worsened and he perished. Now alone, the man remained behind and continued to safeguard his charge, killing any who dared approach the body. For a hundred years, the man stood watch. Their kingdom fallen, his body rust, his mind shadow. Yet still he remained to protect his friend. The woman builds a grave to mourn the pair and leaves the forest without a word. from his own country. And before breaking down, the machine tried so hard to guard his master's body. <sighs> this memory marks the end of the story they left behind inside this staff. Well done, child. 
Do you see how the proper story is now stored inside the staff? That is Will, one of the lost fragments that you should be collecting. Up the stairs now. We still have a long way to go. Thank you.